Um, could I just maybe clarify a couple of things that I've, I've heard said today um, and to put it in context of the, the meeting because um, it might have been lost in, in the course of the exchanges here. Um, the committee wanted to get the detail of this arrangement some time ago, 2022, um, when we sought the attendance of various um, members of government, uh, secretaries, uh, general and so on. And um, we received some written submissions which have been helpful to our understanding of, of what went on. Um, you decided during the course of that time that you would not attend. Um, you refused to come before the committee. And just for the record, the committee was then forced, they agreed uh, as a committee, to seek compatibility uh, and to insist through compatibility that you would attend and give as a witness here to the committee. Just, so just for clarification, Chair, lest there's any confusion here, I'm volunteer to come to this committee today. Well, no, coming, I wasn't, I'm, I'm I wasn't coming, compelled. I'm coming, I'm I, wasn't com I wasn't compelled to come before this I'm committee. So I volunteered to come before this committee. That should be noted now, please, in the record. I wasn't compelled to come here. I came here voluntarily oh, sorry, to help I'm you. I'm coming to that point. Thank you. I've allowed you to say what you had to say, and I, I want to clear the facts here. So we had to seek compatibility, which was granted to the committee. I want the those that are listening to understand that the clerk then contacted you out of courtesy to say we had compatibility, but that would you like then, understanding that, to come uh, voluntarily to the committee. So it's the first time in a long time, first time that I can remember, that the Oireachtas uh, gave compatibility powers uh, to a committee. And it's extraordinary that a Secretary General of a department as significant as the Department of Health, with the experience of the Department of Public Expenditure and Reform, should have to be compelled. So certainly you're the first Secretary General that I know of uh, where agreement had been reached to compel you to attend. So that's, that's the background um, to the uh, committee. Now, others have come before it in relation to this issue, and they have clarified what they knew or what they didn't know. So I can say from Martin Fraser's evidence as the Secretary General of, to the government uh, that he did not know the detail. That's the evidence that I heard. Uh, when he came here, uh, and that others gave a similar reply, they didn't know the detail. Now, we couldn't verify any of that at the time, because, as I said, you wouldn't uh, attend. And that makes the work of the committee very complicated, because we don't have odd sides. And you're, you're someone that has always said, give me a chance to answer, I may not give you the right answer, or what's expected of me, but I'll tell you what I believe the answer to be. Um, so it set out, in my opinion, a very, very bad example for the other Secretaries General, and indeed for the young civil servants who maybe aspire someday to become a Secretary General. Would you not agree with that? Uh, I have nothing to comment on that, Chair. Sorry, I'm here to talk about... Uh these matters that you wrote to me about, so I'm not in a position to talk about these are procedural matters. That's for you and the committee and others. It's not a procedural matter, Mr. Watt. So I'm, I'm asking you, I, I'll ask you again, and then you, you, you so, can decide what to say or do. So I, I, I've, I, asked, no, I've asked you, is it not a terrible bad example from a senior civil servant that this is the way we end up at this committee here today? Uh, Chair, you know the background to this discussion. I'm not going to get into it here. I'm not uh, here to talk about the procedures of your committee. I'm here to talk about the substance of it. Uh, just for the record, though, in case people think otherwise, this is now the fourth or fifth occasion that I have spoken about these matters in front of a dog committee. I have discharged uh, my obligations to the public and to you and your colleagues uh, several times, and I'm discharging it again, and very happy to, 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 okay. to do so. And I think to suggest otherwise, I think, is very, very misleading. Yeah, well, first of all, I didn't suggest otherwise. I gave the facts 
uh, as uh, the committee members would know them, as you would know them, uh, you've given an answer, and I just want to say that that answer, like the other answers you've given today, fall well short of what would be expected of the standard of a Secretary General of a department, a senior member of the civil servants such as yourself. So ask that question, not answered. 